Hi everyone, welcome to another video about AI. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to install the new free image generator, Flux. We'll be doing a quick installation on our PC with just a few clicks. This way we can run it locally without any restriction, censorship or credit limits. The best part, we'll be using a super user-friendly interface, nothing like Compi UI, which many find confusing. This generator is not only the best one out there right now, but it's also great at including words of letters in images. And how about the image quality? Simply outstanding. So, if you want to know how to install and use this powerful generator from your computer, let's get started. Before we begin, it's worth mentioning that to run this program, we need a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card. But don't worry, if you don't have one, I've left a link in the description to a video showing how to use this application for free without installing anything. That video will also be helpful if you are thinking about installing it but you want to try it first. The advantage of installing it in our computer is that we don't have the limit free credits that most web-based generators offer. That's why we are installing it locally. First. We will install Stable Diffusion, which is a program we're gonna use to install Flux. And then we will install the model inside Stable Diffusion. And if you want to learn how to install Stable Diffusion with only one click, click in this link to find out more. To start the installation, go to the link I left in the description. This is where we download the web UI version optimized for Flux. Once we download and upzip the folder, we will run two files. First, the update.bat file, and then the run.bat file. The first time you run this, it might take a while as it installs all the necessary components. Next, we will download the Flux mod. Choose the right file based on your NVIDIA graphics card. FP8 for older or less powerful cards, FP4 for newer or more powerful ones. In the meantime, while that's downloading, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon if you want to enjoy this kind of content. I regularly post videos about creativity, productivity and now talking about AI tools. Okay, once we have the file, we will paste it into a stable diffusion folder in here. Now we can use Flux locally. To access Flux interface and all its options, select from the top menu. We have many options here. But for now, one important feature is the ability to allocate how much of your graphic card's memory you want to use. On the right, we have preset styles that you can use. They are really good, and you can use multiple at once. I recommend trying them out. Let's do an example. I will ask to create a macro photo of a rose. The generation time will depend on your graphics card. And look, this is the image. As I mentioned, the first load always takes a bit longer. Now. Let's try a cinematic style. I will ask for a soldier in a battle. And then, after a few seconds, we have a high quality image. And for our last example, let's add some text image. I will ask for a teddy bear holding a sign that says, Chili Sin Car. And here's our image and I really like it. The Burst 4 looks great, and I like the background too. Overall, it's a very good image. Okay, that's it for me now. I hope you find this video helpful and enjoyable. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments. And i see you next time. Bye-bye.